three, two, one. Hey YouTube, good morning. So, kind of the purpose for these uh, YouTube videos is going to be more so to kind of help you guys out. Um, it's more so for like the new drivers, people that are just getting their CDLs, don't really know what company to go to. Um, people that just got on with Made Trucking, maybe you're still with your mentor, maybe you just soloed out. Um, I remember my first couple months after I soloed out, I was completely lost. So, um, hopefully this will kind of be an area where you can kind of just rewatch videos and kind of learn how to do stuff too. So. Um, that's kind of my whole goal with this channel. So today we're going to be talking about some hours of service. can see on my clock that I showed you guys this morning um, I only had three hours left on my 70 hour clock and I was only able to drive maybe like two and a half hours or so like 150 miles maybe is the max that we got and my 70 hour clock is actually in the negative I got like negative four minutes on there so kind of explain what that means and um, yeah so you have four clocks right so you have your eight hour clock you have your 11 hour clock you have your 14 hour clock and you have your 70 hour clock. So first, it'll be your eight hour clock. So how your eight hour clock works is, whenever you come from, back from a break, whether it be your 30 minute break, your 10 hour break, maybe you took a 34 hour reset, whatever. But whenever you go on duty, um, you have to take a 30 minute break within those first eight hours. That's your eight hour clock. Right, the next one is going to be your 11 hour clock. So your 11 hour clock, that's just basically saying you are only allowed to drive 11 hours in a 14 hour period. You're also going to have your 14 hour clock. Um, your 14 hour clock means when you very first start your day, when you very first start your on duty time. 14 hours from then, whether you're driving, sleeping, or whatever the case, um, you have to, or you're not allowed to drive anymore after that 14 hours. So that'll be your 14 hour clock. And last but not least, um, is going to be your 70 hour clock. So your 70 hour clock is basically um, all of the hours that you're allowed to work, whether it be on duty or driving, you're only allowed to work 70 hours in an eight day period. And that'll be down below right here. So I understand hours of service might be really hard to grasp at first, but um, bear with it, it eventually comes second nature to you. Um, being able to manage your clocks, make sure that you have the legal hours you need to be able to run these loads that you're getting. So once again, you have your eight hour clock. You have to reset that by taking a 30 minute break. You have your 11 hour clock. You have to reset that by taking a 10 hour break or an 8-2 split, which we'll get into. You have your 14 hour clock, which you have to reset that by taking the exact same thing, either a 10 hour break or a 8-2 split. And for your 70 hour clock, um, as I kind of showed you guys earlier, my 70 is out. 
what we have to do is either going to be a 34 hour reset or we could run off of recaps. So what are recaps? Recaps are basically the hours that you worked eight days ago. So today is Sunday. Um, at Sunday at midnight, I'll be getting back the hours that I had Saturday of last week. The last thing we're going to cover today is going to be what is an 8-2 split. So instead of taking your 10 hour break to reset your 11 and 14 hour clocks, um, you can take an 8-2 split. So basically what that is is basically you're just going to break up that 10 hours into two different segments. So the very first segment has to be in sleeper birth. So you have to be in sleeper birth for eight consecutive hours. Once you're in sleeper birth for those eight hours, or you get back the hours that you drove back yesterday. So whatever times that are still left on your 11 and 14 hour clocks is what you get back after you take eight consecutive hours in sleeper birth. Then you can drive those whatever hours, maybe three, four hours. Um, once you do, you have to take a two hour break, whether that be in sleeper birth or off duty, it doesn't really matter. Um, but that first eight hour period has to be in sleeper birth for you to be able to do an eight two split. So yeah, that's just a basic understanding of how these hours of service work. So um, very, very basic, um, just kind of an introduction to what hours of service is. Um, these are very important for truck drivers just to be able to run legally. Um, being able to manage them lets you, you know, make sure that you're on time. You know, you don't want to call your DM, letting you know that you're out of hours and you can't deliver too. So definitely want to be on top of your hours of service. Yeah, that's it for me today, guys. Um, so just continue, you know, like the page, share the page. Um, it really just helps me kind of get off the ground. Um, hopefully I'll be able to reach those target audience that I'm looking for on um, those new drivers um, just got their CDLs those guys that might be with their mentor still or if you just solo it out um, like I said I was completely lost when I first solo it out so hopefully you know having these kind of videos kind of look back on back like, oh that's how you slide your tandems you know that's how you deal with your hours of service that's what your hours of service are etc so um, hopefully these videos kind of help you guys out um, and that's kind of my whole goal with this is this not trying to be a super trucker, not trying to show off anything. This is really, I'm just trying to answer you guys' questions. Um, I'll tell you all about my experiences with May Trucking. I've been here for about a year and a half. Um, actually, I'll do that next video. So tune in the next video. I'll tell you why I chose May Trucking, why I'm still with May Trucking a year and a half later, um, how it is mentoring people, what to bring on your mentor's truck when you sell out, and things like that. So you guys take care. Much love to you guys. Share this YouTube, please. Thanks.